What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install improved engine sounds. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the truth that they're fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install improved engine sounds. And just let me make one note real quick, guys. This only works on the Dodge Chargers. Um, I have found that it works on the Tahoes too, on some Tahoes, depending on what you get. But not all of them. But it's mainly made for the Dodge Chargers. What this does is it takes your engine in your Dodge Charger or your specific Tahoe that you get that it works on and turns it into a realistic V8 sound. So if you guys are looking for something like this, then stick around. Here we go. Go ahead and click that link down there, guys, for Improved Engine Sounds version one, uh, 0.1. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Improved Engine Sounds Emergency Vehicle 0 0.1. Okay, as you guys can see here, it's showing you what um, well, that's actually made for the Crown Vic, too. The Crown Vic looks like the Impala, the Dodge Charger, and the Ford Express, I think is what that is. Um, but that's what it works for. Mainly, I've heard in the Dodge Chargers, but it sounds great, guys. You're going to love it. I promise you're going to love it. Go ahead and scroll down and click download this file right there. Now, they've changed it, guys, a little bit, so you can't scroll back up to the current... Um, you know, you can't scroll back up like we used to to double check the numbers on the mod. Uh, what do you want to do with improved engine sounds of version 0.1.zip? Well, as always, guys, you can either click this save right here to put it directly into your downloads folder for those using Windows 10. Or you can click right here and click save as and put it where you'd like. Somewhere of your choice, okay? So assuming you guys have got that downloaded, I'm going to close out of this. This is going to be a short and sweet tutorial, guys. It's not very hard. It's not, not a hard installation. Go ahead and pull up your open IV, guys. It's going to take a little bit of that. So your open IV here. Uh, if you notice, I've already got a pathway here going. Uh, I'm in the correct installation area for this mod. So here's what I'm going to do. For those of you that have watched my past tutorials, um, I'm always going to say this so you guys will know. Um, if you want to know which one this is, it's the vehicle's meta. That's what we're needing. So, um, if you go to your favorites and click GTA 5 and update.rpf, it brings you right to this page right here where you're supposed to be. So, for those of you that have saved this in the past, uh, go ahead and click that. If you haven't, then I'm going to tell you the pathway for those who haven't got it. So, for those of you that do have it, be patient and hang tight. Alright, so for the ones that does not have this pathway, here's your pathway right here, guys. I'm going to go real slow for you, okay? You're going to click Mods. Alright. And you're going to click Update. Update.rpf. Common. Then click Data. Levels. And last but not least... GTA 5 and that will bring you to this page right here okay so here's what you got to do guys we're gonna go over here to WinRAR and double click on where it says improved engine right there and double click that and as you can see you're gonna have one file here your meta file that's all you need guys double click that go to your vehicles meta make sure your WinRAR I mean I'm sorry make sure your open IV is in edit mode okay and then highlight that vehicles.meta in your WinRAR, grab it, drag it, and drop it. Just like that. See how mine changed, guys, from compressed encrypted to compressed? I just now installed this, okay? I had to redo my mods folder, guys, so I'm in the process of uh, reinstalling my mods uh, in my mods folder. So anyway, guys, that is it. That's as simple as it is right there. Now, I want you guys to go in your game. Go ahead and close out your WinRAR. Um, I always do that. Delete that shortcut. Click your edit mode once more. Uh, for those of you that are um, in this area right now and you have not saved this pathway, go ahead and click Favorites 
click add to favorites and it will say GTA 5 and update.rpf just click add and it will put that in your favorites so let me show you for example guys if I want to install vehicles I'm gonna to go to vehicles.rpf because I've saved it bam there's the installation path for the vehicles right there okay if I want to go install the XML files it's under pack pack default in GTA 5 there's your XML file see how easy that is guys it saves on so much time to save those pathways okay Guys, that's as simple as it is. That's pretty much it right there. I want you to go into your game, uh, get a Dodge Charger or whatever you think is going to work. Uh, try a Dodge Charger for sure because I know for a fact that the Dodge Charger works. Um, this mod was referred to me by my deputy director in my Discord. So shout out to uh, my boy Max Frost. He goes by Frost in the Discord. Shout out to you, bro, for giving me an idea on this mod. Um, I think everybody's going to enjoy it. I really hope you guys do. Um, I enjoy it when I kick that v8 down and it takes off it sounds so realistic. I love it But guys go ahead and get in your game in and 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 punch the pedal down that Dodge Charger and go code 3 through traffic And you're gonna hear the sound of that v8 guys. Thank you so much for your love and support I will leave my discord in the description my Instagram my Twitter um, I will leave um, My farming simulator 19 tutorials down there in my playlist for it if you guys play that, I'll leave my LSPFR tutorial playlist uh, link down there. I'll leave all my links down there. Uh, my PayPal will be down there, guys. Uh, you know, uh, something would be very greatly appreciated, guys. Uh, you know, I don't get paid by YouTube for doing this. This is I do all this for free because I love you guys. But if you can, guys, and you can donate to my PayPal, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I've had like like three donations and. Uh, you know, it wasn't a much, but it, it was something. Uh, and they, sh you know, that was them showing their appreciation to me for what I do. And I know you guys appreciate what I do. I'm not saying you have to donate money to show me your appreciation. But that little bit of money does help me, and it gets me motivated to do more videos. And just really helps me out, guys. So the PayPal link will be down there if you guys want to do that. Everything else will be there. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.